Teach me grappling. What's up guys? Coach Brian here. Day number four of PG Wrestling Camp 2024. And today we bring you back Chance Rich. What's up Chance? What's up guys? How's it going all you viewers out there? So Chance, uh, he just taught the kids today. Did an amazing job. Everybody learned a lot of stuff. And now we got to share something with you. What do you have today? So today I'm going to show you guys, I like to call it a whip over. You know, you can hit this from standing, from the knees, you know, from front headlock position. I wanna say this was probably one of my most effective moves in Division One wrestling. You know, it's a very slick, you know, quick little move that you can kind of get your two from. Um, you know, even, even you jujitsu guys out there too, you know, this could be a great way to kind of pass his arm, take the back, you know, whatever you wanna do with it. But we'll kind of just start out with maybe you know, we'll start front headlock position and then we can work some variations from there. You know, so one thing that I like to do before we even get to the front headlock, you know, let's say that me and coach are wrestling around, right? The key with this move is I want to pull him down in the front headlock. So what I like to do is I like to fake football tie grip the head, right? So I'm football, one hand cups the chin, one hand on top, right on the back of his head. I'm pulling him down, right? Now that I got him down, one hand going on the tricep. I like to pull this, other hand, deep underhook, right? You're reaching on his back. The key with this move is, is he's hanging down, so a lot of the time it's real hard. I'm not just gonna be able to lift him and move him. I have to get to my angle on this. So what I like to do is I give a little side step and switch my knees. Side step, switch, and I am pulling this down. Some people, like to pull, slide down to the hand. Me personally, I just like to pull it out and whip it by, bro. Right here, like straight, catch him for your pin. So I'm gonna show that one more time. That's like the, uh, it's almost like for you guys out there, like they do like, everybody knows a hip toss. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like an over under, like hips, but you're just, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so simple. Yeah, I'm just like here, 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 right? So it's, and just throwing the guy. Very it's simple, awesome. right? Here, got this underhook. A lot of times I'm grabbing it, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't matter if the guy's grabbing it, not grabbing it, whatever he wants to do. It's all about what I'm doing, right? I get my grip on the back of his tricep. I am pushing off this leg, and I like to switch knees, right? So I switch knees, and I am pulling his tricep and lifting his arm around. So it's from here to here, right? Wow, awesome. you know, when you do that, like, I think some people may not understand the setup of the position, but like, I'm usually here, like when you get in this position, I put this leg up right here because sometimes guys are maybe trying to stand up, but if, just so that people know, if I put this leg up, what are you gonna do? I mean, you just have like target. Yeah, target yeah, I'm like, I'm like, honestly, this is nice because now I could pull this out, whatever. Now I'm close to here. Or personally, I kind of like it because sometimes I'll bait it, I'll try to throw the post. This is kind of plays into a different sequence that I would do in college, but I would throw it. And if they really rip down hard on this and they're posting, I switch back to my chin. Oh my goodness. Post. Straight into my cement mixer. So this one's <laughs> real slick. I'll, I'll, I'll beat here and they'll really cool down and post. And I'll switch. Roll. Now, now, we're, now we're going into another universe. Yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah. But the point is for you guys that are real, uh, just starting now and you may not under, quite understand, why am I like this? If I put this one up, I was trying to say, he's just going to attack me. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to attack. That's the best thing that yeah. you could do for the most part is like, a lot of the time, like with this move, like, yes, my elbow's in deep right here, but if he defends the right way and he posts it up, I am pulling out, short elbow, taking my angle, getting my quick go behind, right? So, so I'm always, I'm always like, I know that this is the side you wanna like run to, so I'm, I think I'm safe like this, but that, now look, with this leg up, when you do that move, I'm way out of position. Man, you're, like, you're just, you're just attacking my basic defense that everyone does. You're like, you're coming up with such a simple solution to the problem. 
Yeah, and, and, and honestly, like, guys, this works at all levels of wrestling. I've hit this all the way back in high school, you know, all the way to some of the best kids in the Division One. you know. I wrestled uh, Kai Orin from NC State, phenomenal wrestler, super tough guy, and, you know, when we happened to wrestle, he's a real high flyer, really, really strong kid, and, you know, this was one of the moves I happened to, you know, catch him in, right, you know. He kind of relaxed for a second, you know. He, I was kind of up here like this, you know. We sit for a second. I kind of, some. Of, this kind of goes into the next thing that we're going over is some guys are so strong and their hips are so heavy. You might only be strong enough to pull and get his arm around. So when I step, I might only get uh, and barely pass it by. Doesn't matter how hard it is, as long as you pass it by, you're good. You get your points. It, then it becomes like a throw by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it changes from here. If you can whip it, perfect. You get to the throw, put them on their back. A lot of the time, you might go on and try to rip it, and you might rip it over, and his arm might just so, happen to pass. So I, I know I'm going to defend your move. Mm -hmm. So you're you're here about to do your technique. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, oh. I, I, I drop, maybe I go here, but you're still in commitment mode, and throw me by. And I get taken down anyway. Yep. We just had Anton showing a throw by. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing throw bys like literally in this position. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and, and this is one of those, you know, moves where it's like it's kind of you can hit it from anywhere, even if we're coming up to our feet, right? And I happen to go here. You see a lot of uh, 65 kilo Iranian, very beautiful, a little, oh. little, little bit different, yeah. but he steps in the middle. It is the same motion, the same move. You're hitting that throw. He's just hitting a little baseball slide in. Throw from there. But same situation. Even if I can't get him over, I might be able to hook. Get that around. Capture hip. Bring him down. If you could get him to his back, great. If not, still fine. I mean, honestly, personally, if I'm doing my jujitsu, whatever, I get him around. Maybe I don't want to bring him down. Maybe I just want to hop on his back, throw in my hooks. Go from there, do something, whatever yeah. you guys like. Well, that was sweet. That was amazing. I like even me. Every time I do this stuff, I've seen a lot of these techniques before. But even as you demonstrate, I'm like my brain's kind of the the wheels are turning because I'm like I'm grasping some of the details and some of the information for myself as well. Man, you guys, this is valuable. I love this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Chance, thank you so much, of course, man. man. Thank you guys. And uh, guys, you know it. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Ciao.